I never thought I'd say this, but good job, Netherrealm. So the new update has come and new solo raids have arrived and they are now online. Now, I know I haven't been posted anything about this update just because I've been very busy lately, but guys, I'm so excited finally about an update in Injustice 2 Mobile. Now, I, I don't care about the bugs anymore because I don't care that much about this game anymore, but I only care about the new game mode that we have, the new solo raid with boss Superman as the main boss, not, not Dark Side and some new features that they just added in into the game now the new wonder woman it's cool and all that but it's a new legendary so i don't really care about this one the legendary brainiac i don't really care about this one because it's not a major refactor to brainiac so it's not going to make a huge difference uh in how i perceive brainiac as a as a character uh, now, the new Reforge tokens, this is interesting, but I'm guessing it's going to be a bit harder to get the new Reforges, and that's why I'm not 100% uh, excited about this one, but it's going to be nice when you are going to get new Reforges, it's going to be able, you are going to be able to make heroes uh, greater, much, much, much more easier than before, so it's a nice addition, it should have been here uh, a long time ago now for the juicy stuff is the new rise of krypton solo raid event now first things off i want to say that uh, i know i haven't been very active lately but uh, i promise i'm going to post some great content with this new solo raid event uh, just because this is new this is fresh and this is what i am looking for in this game now, I didn't have a bunch of content to post about this game just because I have this channel for such a long time and I only want to post content that is relevant anymore. I don't want to milk the views and I want to post content that is also beneficial to you guys and it's also enjoyable. And just me doing a live stream for four hours straight just playing Arena like everybody does for three years straight since the game came out, I don't think that's enjoyable content. I think that's repetitive and that's not my style uh, in this game. I only want to post uh, reviews, guides and uh, stuff that is actually unique like my builds and also uh, trying new stuff in solo raids. So now we finally have something to try, uh, to try out in new solo raids so the time has begun gather your most powerful heroes uh, all right and uh here it says that we also have new kryptonian artifacts now i i uh, saw the new artifacts that they posted on facebook so stay tuned for my full review of those artifacts because i'm going to uh, be take uh, be taking a closer look to those new artifacts and compare them to the dawn of apocalypse artifacts to see if they they actually are worth the investment in gems to try to get them and uh yeah so those new artifacts are going to be something to take a look at uh now the rise of krypton why am i <laughs> actually reading this let's go straight into the game mode because that's why are you guys here the rewards I am the most interested in. Now we have uh, kind of trash rewards because this is only normal mode. But what I like about is the gems. If they keep the gems for every level, that would be amazing. But if not, I'm going to be the same uh, level of disappointment as I was with uh, the Dawn of Apocalypse. Now, uh, you only get Kryptonite Spear when you defeat uh, superman with others you only get a random uh, normal artifact so it's the same thing as with dawn of apocalypse but guys what i'm trying to say is this is the best artifact that you can actually get for this game mode so just save up your gems and don't invest like crazy in stupid chests trying to get good artifacts because this one that you get here for free is the best artifact uh, for the Kryptonian event 
not not the others is is the same story as with father box for dawn of apocalypse that's the most op one now i'm gonna i'm not going to go too much in detail with this artifact in this video that's going to be in another video where i'm going to compare this with the other artifacts and you are going to see why this is the best one just like with father box but with this video, we are only going to play and see the bosses. Now we have Silver Deadshot, Captain Cold, Silver Bane, Silver Scarecrow, and Silver Grot. I'm not quite sure how I feel about this, and I'm not quite sure how I feel about Cheetah being a boss that I have to fight uh, forever to reach tier 7. Um, I like how Superman looks, I, I like DSG as a boss, Brainiac it's already a boss, I don't see a reason why he, he's uh, here because everybody's tired of fighting Brainiac, Cheetah not so much, Grodd, meh, I don't know, uh, let's fight the most OP boss that we have here, the most OP uh, quote, like uh, <laughs> this has 1 million health so we are going to defeat this in a heartbeat oh boy let's try <laughs> let's try my IV and I'm not quite sure if we need any artifact or any team or any strategy for this fight uh, let's just use the old blades because this is going to be uh, your main go-to artifact until you get the Kryptonian spear other than that, uh, Father Box, I don't think it's going to work. Begin. Nope. Did I do that? Oh, spot. Give in to me. Alright, so that was quite easy, it's not going to be a headache to fight in normal difficulty, this is more so for the new buys, for, to get some, uh, some nice rewards, it's not so much for the advanced players, because everybody with a 5-10 million roster is going to breeze through these fights, even against Superman, and as you can see, with the normal difficulty you can fight with the same team, but I don't want us to struggle that much so I'm going to use a team that is going to destroy this very quickly but where's my cyborg yeah I, I think I have cyborg without the gears on yes this is it so in this we are going to be able to finish three bosses with ease and I'm going to keep you guys posted with every um, every progress that I make here in Kryptonian event. All right, that was much more easier than than the other fight. And the rewards are not going to be groundbreaking, but they are going to be nice to have, especially for people. Uh, that just started the game they are going to struggle a bit with these fights if you have a roster like I don't know that you just started yesterday or this week and you don't have that mu that powerful heroes all right so th these fights are not exciting for uh, for you guys to watch and for me to fight because it's too easy but I'm going to post the progress and I'm really pumped to see how boss Superman is going to, to look how he's going to fight and uh, if he's going to be a pain in the ass with the modifiers like like Darkseid is um, but I'm 
I'm quite positive about this event. I'm quite positive that we're going to have a lot of fun. Uh, even though the game is not perfect, but at least now we have something to grind for and at least we have some diversity with solo raid events, it's not uh, only Dawn of Apocalypse and it's going to be a nice change of pace with, uh, with this new addition to this game and everybody's going to post videos with solo raids, I'm sure about this one. Uh, but what, what can I promise you guys is that you are always going to find unique content on my channel for the new solo raids because i'm going to post unique themes unique synergies uh one shots with silver characters i'm going to test uh, this uh, kryptonite spear with silver characters maxed out with legendary characters with weird synergies and that only to keep the game interesting because if i only go and post videos with King of Atlantis Aqua, I mean with Heartbreaker Harley Quinn, that's not going to be enjoyable and that's not going to be something that you guys have never seen before, right? So that was the video for today, guys. Let me know in the comment section down below if you are excited about the new Solar Raid event and what do you think are going to be the modifier, for, the modifiers for Superman? Let me know, guys. Take care. Peace.